Too, please. Thank you. Hey, Lewis, dude, how'd you get that beam? It's Robex class. You really want to know? Yeah, man, that's uh, kind of why I'm asking you. Well, you really want to know how? Oh, man, here it comes. I made her an offer she couldn't refuse. <laughs> dude, work on some new material, okay? Material? What do you? What do you talk? Have you ever been to Vegas? Because in Vegas they pay big dollarini for impressions like that, my friend. I got a new one. I could have been a contender. <laughs> That's new. See? Stella! Oh my God! No, no. You just totally hit him in the face, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm really uh, sorry. No, no problem. <laughs> just as long as it's not the nose. Anything but the nose. All right. <laughs> hey, Twitty. Hey, what's up, Blake? Hey, never let it be said that Blake Thompson doesn't do his own stunts. <laughs> 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 this guy, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey. Bye. I have your attention, please. Your attention, people. Excuse me, people. Can I have your attention, please? Hi. If we don't answer her, maybe she'll go away. <laughs> I say enough is enough with this food. Now, I'm your policy monitor, and I am here to serve you. In that case, can you bring me another piece of chocolate cake? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to invite him outside for a little chatterero? No, no, no. Just ignore him. <clears throat> now, I've been talking to Principal Wexler, and he's allowing us to make some changes. From here on out, we're going to choose our own menus. That is, if the requests are in line financially and nutritionally with district policy. <laughs> Oh, 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 was I sleeping, man? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. I really didn't mean it. All right, I just had enough of him. Right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Not cool. It was so cool. On my last audition, I was hanging from a helicopter, right? I mean, uh, I do yeah. all my own stunts. I don't use any of that, like, CGI stuff. <laughs> You're yeah, Blake did a Doc Deaner's hot dog commercial like a couple years ago. Doc Deaner's? Right. D D Doc Deaner's, that's right. Yep, man, Blake's all about acting. I love that commercial. I remember the song. It goes, um, if it's not Doc Deaner's, you're just getting mean. <laughs> and that's him. You remember that commercial? I don't eat wieners. Okay. But then I did this this, you know? this camera commercial with Agassi, and you know what? I beat him in a couple games. See, there's a guy who's appreciated. Well, the best Me. commercial I ever did was in Hawaii, right? And it was on the lip of this volcano. It was just. <laughs> it was a cool sound. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> What's that there? Is that Shakespeare? <clears throat> Probably. <clears throat> You, you guys, I think he's choking. No, he's not. Oh, jeez. Uh, he is choking. Tony, go to the safety poster. You go boil some water. Salt. 
You saved my life. You're Stevens, right? Yeah, I'm Steve, Louis Stevens. You got some gravy, right? On oh, right <laughs> Last time I had this many people pay attention to me, I had a kick me sign on my back. Oh, yeah. You remember the kick, remember the kick me sign? It's not that funny. What? You remember the kick me sign? Louis, <laughs> allow me. Ivan. Whoa. Yeah, well, your days of being a regular guy are over, Lewis. As of now, you are officially one of my entourage. Here's my shoe. In fact, you're my main man, Lewis. Whoa, wait, wait a second. I thought I was your main man. Did you save my life? This man is a genuine hero. Hey, Lewis, I saw you doing a Godfather impression earlier. You saw that? I just do that for my friends, you know? It's not like real acting or anything. Show me, I'd love to see it. Name it all if you come with you. What you doing, Mr. Twitty? You know, I'm just keeping an eye on Lewis. That's what I like about you. Even though you walk through your life without a care, you're good to your friends. Here, take this. Thanks. You know, uh, Lewis saved a guy's life, and it's pretty big news. But I know that whenever Blake and his little showbiz pals are involved, there's got to be trouble. Twitty, don't worry. No one knows a real Lewis better than I do, and deep down, he's classy, caring... Very, very intelligent. I love you guys. That was great, huh? That was great, man. That's so cool. That's nice. I think I'm going to keep an eye on him, too. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's get out of here. Okay. Hey, clean this up. What are you doing? What? Just trying out some new routines for my new crew. Your new crew. Listen to you with your, your, your overnight popularity. You're starting to sound like Larry Beale. Translation? Ew. What's wrong with you? I think I lost my mojo. <laughs> no. You never had a mojo, trust me. You're probably right. But you're not going to yell at me? Help. Dr. Evil has replaced my sister with some cheap, ugly robot! I work day and night to help to improve the food in our school cafeteria, and Beal is just not making it any easier. Right. It's not that important. Just relax for like five minutes. A, you might have some fun. And B, be able to have nothing to tease you about. I'm sorry, but that's just not the way I work. Suit yourself. Baby. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to be... No, no, that is not something that I'm going to be doing. Because, I mean, you know who I am. I mean, it's not going to happen. No. No, 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 no. The kind of thing that I would do. No. No, no, you're not listening to me. What I'm saying is it's just not what happens with Blake Thompson. It's just not going to... And then I said it to the teacher. If Blake Thompson doesn't feel that it would be good for him, I don't think Blake Thompson should have to do it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? 
Teacher, I swear. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still here. Uh huh. And I'm a very important person, and this is not the kind of thing that I would do. No, 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 you're not listening to me. What I'm saying is, it's not going to happen. No, 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 no. Wait, like you got to see Lewis, man. It's hilarious. Yeah. Well, since when did Lewis become the center of the universe? I just, you know, thought maybe you'd like some of his jokes or something. That's all. No, just... dude, grow up. The guy's a dork. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm total dork. I'll, I'll see you later. I'll yeah, see you. yeah. Okay, no, no. Okay, fine, Mom. You win. I'll clean my room. Jeez. I gotta go. All right, I gotta go, guys. It's getting late. Um... Don't worry. There's more of me where that came from. Uh, tell Blake, send, send his, my love to Blake. All right, thank you. What are you, chopping hedges? No, I've been observing you. I'm so scared. I'm going to make this short. Louis, you may not know this, but I'm fond of you. And so is Twitty. But we think, we're worried you've become a pod person. So, so, now that I have new friends, I'm a pod person? Don't take this the wrong way. I can't help it. Every day it's been like, Lewis, stop with the Brando. Lewis, get a new act. How am I supposed to feel? You're taking this the wrong way. No, I'm not. You guys just don't want me to have new friends. And maybe you guys are the pod people. is full. It is. You know, I hadn't checked in a couple days, but suddenly the responses appear to be incredible. <laughs> you go, Miss Posse Monitor. <laughs> <laughs> I could make a difference, Beal or no Beal. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Things would certainly improve in the cafeteria if Ren Stevens would keep her skinny butt out of here. Don't tell me. Larry Beal. Mm -hmm. No surprise. Can you please do something about the tuna casserole? It smells like Ren Stevens' breath. Signed, Lawrence Anthony Beal. Ugh. Best way to improve the cafeteria is for Ren Stevens to eat outside. Don't tell me. Beal. Larry stuffed the box. I'm so sorry, Ren. It's okay. Maybe my brother's right. It's just easier not to care. Stevens! Gagalicious, baby! <sighs> What's with the Stevens? Huh? My name's Lewis. Or you can call me Austin. That's gagalicious, baby. It's old and tired, baby. That was good. Thanks for the compliment. Now beat it. I'm getting sick of you. You said you like my godfather. How many times do I have to watch you die? I mean, you're like a mosquito that keeps biting me. I don't know if you forgot, but I saved your life. That's right. You saved my life. So I tolerated you. But now, your 15 minutes of fame are over. Listen, you go back and hang with your friends, and I'll go hang with mine. Hey, Lewis, how's it going, man? It's great. It's going great. Why wouldn't it be going great? I don't know. I thought there uh, had been a little bad blood between you and Blake. No, there's no bad blood. There's no blood. Do I look like I'm bleeding? Me and Blake are tight. Yep, things are definitely looking on the bright side. So, uh, things are okay with you guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, he's probably waiting for me right now, dude. Where are you going? Blake's waiting for me right over on the corner. We'll hang soon, okay? 
Don't worry about it. All right, later. Here you go. I must say, I've built quite a taste for this meatloaf. Yeah. I guess it's okay. Uh, I hope my comments will help on the school cafeteria. <laughs> um, what's up with your friend? You got what you wanted, Mr. Larry Beal. She's officially resigned from public service. Are you happy? Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> score at home my new friends they don't like me my old friends they don't like me so i guess the score is friend zero lewis really zero i don't know i guess maybe next time i'll think twice before i save a guy's life you ever since I returned from Spanky's retreat for confused men. I missed you terribly. Grin. You don't normally watch the old and the beautiful. Is something wrong? Oh, well, disillusionment, shattered dreams, grief. Hmm. Usual teenage girl stuff. It's politics, Mom. I know that you have to have a thick skin. I'll be right back. I think I, I, I'm falling in like with you. Oh, Donna, don't you do that. Red Larry's here. Beal? Larry, I was just going to start dinner. Will you be staying? Uh, no, thank you, Senator. I'll only be a minute. Okay. Um, and might I add, you're getting lovelier every day. <laughs> oh, thank you, Larry. <laughs> oh. That Todd is a hound. Last season, he dated every girl on the show. What are you doing here? Well, I was in the neighborhood, so I came by to say I'm sorry. If I've been ragging on you too hard. That's okay, because I have accepted the fact that everyone doesn't take me seriously anymore. So you're just going to give up? Look, ever since fifth grade, we've been competing against each other, and I've been beating you. And <laughs> your dreams, Beale. Now, what I'm trying to say is that you can't stop trying. If there's no Ren Stevens, there's no Larry Bill. Um, I better go now. Well, hey, um, you sure you don't want to stick around and watch Donna and Todd? I have a feeling she's going to kick his butt. Uh, no. <laughs> I think I had enough soap operas for one day. Okay. the car, I'll wet it down. That's my chance. What the? What the? Oh, oh. Stevens! I just saved your life. The car was coming out, and he was backing up right into you. It's gonna cost you. Look at me. 
Six-year-old man woke up one morning and told his wife he only wanted to be called Freak Nasty. Are you serious? Lewis's constant craving for approval combined with his youngest child syndrome has basically split his personality in two. So, uh, what are we gonna do? We've got to shock him back into reality. This calls for drastic measures. How drastic are we talking here? Because uh, I kind of have basketball practice in court thirty. You'll see. Protest, is it? Are you gonna save me or not? Save you from what? <laughs> you guys have completely lost your minds. <sighs> okay, let me walk you through this. Okay, I'm tied to the tracks. The train is coming. Hero, that would be you. Rides up on a spike and saves me in the nick of time. Oh no, it's the evil twitty. Save my life and I will forever be your friend. Hmm? It's not like you. Oh! Oh, okay. You guys are pathetic. We're pathetic. Hey, you're the one who couldn't admit he was dumped, right? Yeah, and in case you missed it, we just rescued you. All right, I guess I am pathetic. Because for a while there, I did act like a jerk. Hey, to curse the popular, okay? It happens to the best of us. I can't believe you guys went through all this to keep me back in the group. Dude, we're friends. Yeah, we are. I'm never gonna forget this. Yeah, I'm tearing up here. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, by the way, you owe us thirty bucks for the train ride. Thirty bucks? What do you mean thirty bucks? That's not funny. I have. <laughs> Okay, guys, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to once again remind and encourage you to put suggestions in the suggestion box. So, feel free to say whatever you want because it's strictly confidential, so you can be open and honest. Just fill out one of these. Any uh, comments, thoughts? Yeah, I think that there ought to be some kind of soy items on the menu. Hey, Ivan, you heard the lady. You have a suggestion, you fill it out and put it in the box. Okay. Continue. Is policy monitor? Yeah. Thanks, Larry. It's good things are back to normal between us. 
things are back to normal, right? Um, it's Okay, now they're back to normal.